What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys another awesome episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee on Nintendo Switch. This is episode one of our entire series of beating up every single master trainer within the game. So if you guys didn't know, after you beat the entire main story mode, going through and grabbing all the badges, beating all the entire Elite Four, master trainers start popping up and what you have to do is you have to 1v1 them with no items with that specific Pokemon. So on today's episode, we're going to give you guys the locations of the first three master trainers, which are going to be in Pokedex order. That's how exactly the playlist is going to be. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. We're going to show you guys how to beat them with minimal candy requirements. So I'm super excited for it. If you guys are excited for this and you guys want to see me get that grand master title, definitely smash that like button and share the video with a friend. Let's do this. All right. So our Bulbasaur trainer is going to be right on board over here on Route 4, in case you guys don't know where that is. It's at the end of Mount Moon. You guys can see Mount Moon right over that way. Come on down to the east this way, and you will see your Bulbasaur trainer over that way. One of the fastest ways in order to access her is grabbing your flying Pokemon, uh, just like Dragonite over here. And once you're done, or once you start off your area, just by uh, uh, doing your fly with Pikachu or Eevee over that way, head on over to the west, and we're going to find this Pokemon trainer right over here. So let's jump on in. Let's take a look and see what our Pokemon is going to be like. And we're going to see what kind of strategies we are going to do in order to beat this Pokemon. Now, take a look. We have our Bulbasaur. Now, our Bulbasaur is at level 98. I high re highly recommend, if you guys have uh, the opportunity to do so, grab a Bulbasaur. I don't think nature matters that much. I would say grab your Bulbasaur and level them up to 98 specifically. That way you can give it a rare candy, and then once you're done with a rare candy, it'll evolve into Ivysaur at 99. And then you can do the Ivysaur trainer, and then when you're ready, you can give that Ivysaur trainer, or the Ivysaur, one more rare candy, or level it up. And then it'll go to level 100. And by doing so, you'll have access of beating all three of these trainers with one specific Pokemon. So uh, individual values really doesn't matter right over here. I mean, that can kind of help out. Our special attack would be very beneficial. Uh, but what I do want to show you guys right now is our move set. Now, our move set is pretty much based off of all the TMs that we have available here for teaching it to Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur has Sludge Bomb, access to Light Screen and Reflect, and also Substitute. These are the four moves that I'm going to use at my disposal in order to beat up enemy Bulbasaur. You guys can see over here that I only have a small amount of candy. That's just based off of what candy I had lying around. So I don't think that that amount of candy is going to help us out. But keep in mind that if you guys have loads and loads of candy floating around, you can absolutely elevate your Pokemon stats in order to make it so superior compared to the other Master Trainer. Keep that in mind. But we're going to try to do this series without loading up on candy because who has time for that? I don't have time for that. Anybody got time for that? Let's go. I'm the Bulbasaur Master. My goal is to find the ultimate Bulbasaur. Hey, your Bulbasaur looks pretty strong. Can I battle it with my Bulbasaur, please? All right, let's see which Bulbasaur is stronger. All right, so here we go. Bulbasaur 1v1. I don't know how we're going to do this. I'm not relying on love crits, love dodges, love expulsions love anything like that we're just relying on flat battle rules as best we can you guys can work on that by all means all right so here's the thing the only move set or the only move that's beneficial in our Bulbasaur's repertoire is going to be that sludge bomb so what I want to do right now is I want to I want to set up a screen because I feel that uh, light screen would be pretty beneficial right now in case he wants to start using uh, the sludge bomb as well so that's the move set that this Bulbasaur has, so keep that in mind. It's got three moves. It's got Growth, which is very scary. He's going to get really big and puffed up. He's got Growth, Sludge Bomb, and Takedown, according to my notes over here. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to be able to... Uh, I'm going to go with Reflect, and then I'm going to set up a sub. And then I'm just going to proceed to start knocking him out. Okay, so Takedown is going to do a little bit of damage to me, but he's going to get hit and recoil. So we're going to sub up, and I hope that my sub will allow me to take these hits. Okay, there's Sludge Bomb. Okay, yeah, Substitute is up. This is great. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to go for Sludge Bomb of our own. It's going to be neutral damage, but it is same type attack bonus, so it is our strongest bet that we have against him. So I don't think that my substitute can take another one of these. Yeah, so that's going to fade. 
and he's going to keep on going. That growth totally helped him out. So I don't know if we're going to win this, guys. Once that light screen goes down, I'm a, I'm a goner. My light screen wore off now, so this is real, uh, real bad time. So I may have played this one not so well, suboptimally. If I just focused on hitting sludge bombs, I think I would have won this one. Yeah, no, I totally lost it. But hey, you know what? That's okay. That's part of that's par for the course. It's going to you're gonna to have to rely on a little bit of luck and RNG in order to beat this one. But you know what? Let's go. Let's try it. So Yeah, that's real tough. I think that putting the light screen up is going to be beneficial for us. But we'll have to see. We'll absolutely have to see. Alright, here we go. Round two. We just gotta beat him once, then we win. Alright, light screen up. Growth. That's so good. Like, I should have growth on my team. Growth does what? Oh, it's just by one stage. Oh, yeah, your attack and special attack rows. Wow, that's actually really good. Well, enjoy this. Dunk. I think that's a four-hit KO. Tekton hurts so much. That's like a four-hit KO as well. No, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Provided that you're gonna keep keep on taking that re recoil damage, I think we're all set. And he's gonna waste the turn with growth right now. So, see what I was talking about? Like, it is a little bit of luck based off of what the opponent is going to try to do. So, we already win. This is already win condition. I'm gonna hit once. If I get min damage, and it's gonna survive with one. Take down, recoil, or just miss altogether. See, like, there's, there's a lot of luck involved. And we didn't have to use any love dodges or love crits or anything like that. So, we're good. So, our Bulbasaur won it. Our Bulbasaur absolutely won it. That was good. We beat last Rena. It took us a couple tries, but we did it. And we showed you guys exactly how to do it with minimal candy investment. Oh, wow, your Bulbasaur is way stronger than I thought. I think you deserve a, uh, you deserve to be called a Bulbasaur Master. That was pretty good. You've earned the title of Bulbasaur Master. We should have another battle sometime, since we both love Bulbasaur so much. GG's, lady. GG's. Okay, so here we go. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to fly over and we're going to make ourselves an Ivysaur. And then we're going to go beat the Ivysaur trainer for the battle. And then let's call it a day. So let's uh, Sky Dash. We're going to go over to Route 14, which is right outside of Fuchsia City. So she's going to be right in this corner spot. So let's head on over there. And let's jump in. Okay. Well, here we are. The best way to travel is onto a, I guess, ride Pokemon. Uh, let's uh, let's do this. Wow, Pokeball Plus. Let's go. All right, take out a Pokeball. Take me there now, quickly. So yeah, our next one is going to be the Ivysaur Trainer. We're gonna try the exact same strategy, but I have to use a rare candy, or I can just go level up in the grass if I wanted to, in order to get our Bulbasaur evolved into Ivysaur, so that we can finish off this episode. So here we go, running on through, no shiny Pokemon, no shiny, no shiny, no shiny, no shiny, right? Uh, there's a Dodrio Master. And uh, here we go. Hello. So we're going to go to Bag, I'll go to Candy Jar, and we got some rare candy, why the heck not? There you go, enjoy. And then I, I will not press B, I promise. If I press B, it's over, then we lose. Whoa, okay, Bulbasaur is evolving, what? So, like I said, you don't need a rare candy for this at all. You just go back to Chaney, uh, Chansey Chaining and just level up once. But be careful, because you don't want to get, like, so much experience that you level up twice. So that's why rare candy is nice and easy. And you can find rare candy in that cave anyway. So now that we got this uh, Ivysaur, Ivysaur is going to be really good. We're going to try the exact same thing. So let's hit this up. All right, hello, lady, over here on Route 14. I'm the Ivysaur Master. My goal is to find the ultimate Ivysaur. Hey, your Ivysaur looks pretty strong. Can we battle? Yes, we can. Okay, so Ivysaur, looking at over here, has the exact same kind of moveset, except for takedown, is replaced with uh, Double Edge, so it's a lot stronger. So I want to bait this Ivysaur to use more of that move. So I'm going to set up Light Screen right off the bat. Uh, again, my moveset is going to be as follows. We have an Ivysaur with minimal candy investment. We have a Sludge Bomb, Light Screen, Reflect, and Substitute. Substitute just in case. I don't think Substitute's necessary at all, but it's there. 
Okay, so here we go. Okay, so now you're just gonna start right off the bat with some uh, sludge bomb. So that's good. We were able to mitigate some of that damage. Uh, we're gonna use sludge bomb of our own, and we're just gonna proceed to keep on sludge bombing. Hopefully, we can KO. Okay, that's 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 interesting. Double edge hurts. Oh, and you're gonna get a little damage too. Wow, this is real bad. This is not looking good, guys. Right there, maybe I should have reflected. I don't know. I don't know, man. Whoa, okay. So if I do a reflect right now... Maybe that was out of order. It's cool if it was. Whatever, we'll try again. So double edge. I can survive one. You're gonna get a little bit more recoil damage. And then I'm hoping that this, uh, this next attack just does it. Just does you in. Which is sludge bomb. So here we go. Crossing my fingers. Min max damage. Not enough, but it's okay. You're gonna do sludge bomb and I think I can survive that. Okay, good. Light screen's off. We already win. No priority moves. This is GG's. GG's. I was a little worried right there that we misplayed the reflect, but no, we're good. We're absolutely good. Ivysaur is down, ladies and gentlemen. Last, Katrina. That strength is the real deal. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, wow. Your Ivysaur is way stronger than I thought. I think you deserve to be called an Ivysaur Master. Okay, so we're in the title of Ivysaur Master. Awesome, we should have a battle some time since we both love Ivysaur so much. Okay, well, now that we've done two Master Trainer battles, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on over to the third one, the Venusaur Trainer, which is gonna be on Route 23. And I'll show you exactly where that's at, and we're gonna show you guys a little bit of a, a little trade secret that may help you beat this battle a little bit easier. But of course, um, I don't know if I wanna use a rare candy, I might actually just do a quick cut to uh, when we're getting ready to battle. Just so that you guys, uh, so I can get my Ivysaur ready. Um, other than that, uh, if you take a look over here, this is the uh, the Mega Stones. You're the Mega Stones guy. So what we want to do with the with the brand new one. Oh, I already have Venusaurite. Okay, never mind. I don't have to buy them. So we are going to have to go buy some Mega Stones a little bit later on. I'll buy them when we need them. But uh, we should be all set and ready to go. Say hi to Red over that way. We're over here on Route 23 at the bottom of the Elite Four. We've got one trainer right over here that we are going to battle with our Venusaur. I'm going to go level him up manually, and then we should be all set and ready to go for the final battle of the episode. Let's do this. Okay, guys, here we are. Forgive the quick cut, but we do have a Venusaur on board. Let's take a look at our Venusaur really quick. So this is the same Venusaur that we had, or sorry, the same evolution Bulbasaur that we had since the very beginning of the episode. We just leveled him up and we're all set. So you guys can take a look over here. Again, really minimal candy investment, if anything. Just threw a couple of health candies on it previously beforehand. So you guys can see we're going to run the exact same move set: Sludge Bomb, Light Screen, Reflect, Substitute if we need it. I don't feel that we're going to need it, but we're definitely going to have to see about that. So we have Venusaur and uh, we do have a trick up our sleeve, which is going to be using the Venusaurite, uh, which is going to make him evolve into Mega Venusaur. So anyway, here's the Venusaur Master. My goal is to find the ultimate Venusaur. Hey, you Ven your Venusaur looks pretty nice. Can I battle it with mine? Yes, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. This is a pretty cool first episode of the series. Let's hit it up. All right, last Sal. Hello, Sal. Okay, so there's that big Venusaur. Here goes my big Venusaur, but mine's level 100, and hers is level 75, jacked with candies. So keep that in mind. I'm going to Mega Evolve, and we are going to set up the light screen, like we talked about a little bit earlier. So here comes that big Keystone. All right, all right, here we go. Mega Venusaur, and we're gonna bust out that big light screen because potentially this thing is gonna use, uh, you know, Sludge Bomb. So good thing that we predicted that Sludge Bomb, so we got half off today, and that is still very strong. That is a strong Sludge Bomb. I am going to continue up with more Sludge Bomb, and let's see how much mine does. Now remember, mine's just stock. It's not Outrage? You gonna rock Outrage? Okay, great. That hurts. But hopefully Outrage will allow him to... I'm gonna reflect, I guess. No, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go par for the course. Let's just go. Sludge Bomb. Hopefully you get a two-turn Outrage, confuse yourself, and then hit yourself. But if it's a three-turn Outrage, then we might have to mix up our strat here. Two-turn Outrage with the Confusion. If we get the Confusion Hacks, this could be a two-hit KO right here. Min-max damage. Whoa, okay, that's good, that's good. Confusion? We won either way. 
you're gonna use Outrage again, and then I just win, provided I get a max damage roll. But I can take another hit, I can take another Outrage, so we win. This is just guaranteed. Nail in the coffin, game set match. Nice knowing you, lady. I knew it, oh man, Outrage again, here we go. That's fine, that's fine, dude. We got a min damage roll, but look, we're here. Light screen war off didn't matter. Sludge bomb for the win. Woo, boy. We really only needed two moves for that one, huh? We only needed light screen and sludge bomb, so that was pretty great. Minimal candy investment didn't really matter about getting the HP from the HP candies. So you can do this one. I can safely say you can do this without any candies. While your Venusaur is way stronger than I thought, I think you deserve to be called a Venusaur Master. Okay, so we've earned the title of Venusaur Master. Looking good. Uh, we should have another battle sometime since we both love Venusaur so much. Yeah, we totally should. But right now, I'm going to save the game because we have had a very successful first episode of the entire Master Trainer series. So, next up is uh, we're going to go take a look at our Pokedex or we're going to look at our living decks right over here. Take a look at a Pokemon box. Boom. Right up is going to be Charmander. Charmander, we're going to do Charmeleon and we're going to do Charizard which is going to be really interesting considering the fact that Charizard can Mega Evolve and do a lot of work with Charizard Y or Charizard X, provided we're going to use Charizard X. But will we do it? Find out on the next episode. It'll be a super fun one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you guys would like to see, a, see us go through every single one of the 153 Pokemon in the game, you know what to do. Smash that like button and share the video with a friend. Let's see if we get 500 likes on this episode. That would be much appreciated. I appreciate every single one of you guys that do so. Continue watching our playlist over here. Newest video on the channel that way. Recommendations over there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're alerted of the latest and greatest Pokemon and Nintendo Switch content. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.